In this video, we want to show you how to build your own Hack Air air quality sensor. You can use it to learn about air quality where you live. And with lots and lots of them connected across Europe, we can build a better map of the air that we breathe. In this video, we will build the Hack Air home sensor that you can connect to your home network. You can also build a Hack Air mobile sensor that you can use when you're out and about. Let's assemble the sensor. We'll need the following materials, a Wemos microcontroller, a temperature and humidity sensor. These two come with pin headers that we will need to solder to the boards. An air quality sensor. We'll be using the DF robot in this video. You can also use the Nova PM SDS011 as we describe in the tutorial. Four female to male jumper wires and a micro USB cable and a USB charger. You'll also need a soldering iron and a computer. We begin by soldering the pin headers to the boards. Start with the Wemos microcontroller. Add the short headers to the top of the board and turn it over. You can also stabilize this with poster putty if you want. We'll do the same with the humidity sensor and attach the long pin headers. Then turn it upside down. Now we are ready to solder. Heat up your soldering iron and start with the Wemos. Add a drop of solder to opposite sides of the board. And then solder the remaining connections. If you don't know how to solder, there's a link to instructions in the tutorial. Now for the same thing with the humidity sensor. Add a drop of solder on opposite sides of the board. And then heat and solder the remaining connections one pin at a time. Done! You can now unplug your soldering iron. The next step is to attach the humidity sensor to the top of the Wemos. Make sure that the white dot on the Wemos matches the white dot on the sensor. Careful not to bend any pins. Then press down. Now we'll attach the air quality sensor. In this video we are showing the DF robot. Check the tutorial if your sensor looks different. On the board, connect a power cable to 5 volt. A ground cable to ground, GND. The TX cable to D7. And the RX cable to D6. On the sensor, we'll connect the TX cable to TX, the RX cable to RX, the ground cable to GND, and the power cable. VCC. To install the software on your sensor, unplug the Wemos from the board and attach a USB cable to connect it to the laptop. First, go to your profile on the Hack Air platform. Select Sensors and add a new sensor. Choose a name, the type, Hack Air Home, the location, details, and floor. After you press Save, you get your access key.
You will need that to install the software correctly. Now, download the following. The Arduino software. And the Hacker home libraries from GitHub. Install the Arduino software and set it up. Now open the Arduino software and go to Preferences. Add the ESP Package Manager as an additional board manager and go to Tools Board Manager. Add ESP8266 there. Now you can select the Wemos D1 R2 Mini as your board. Go to Include Library and install the following four additional libraries. Wi-Fi Manager, DHT Sensor Library, Adafruit's Unified Sensor Library and the ESP8266 Wi-Fi. Now open the zip file library that you just downloaded and open the Wemos Advanced Sketch. For that go to File, Examples, Hack Air. Add your authorization token and check your sensor type. Also check the correct type for the humidity sensor and if you want, you can adjust the measurement interval. Save it. Check that you've got the correct port. And upload to your Wemos. Success! Now you're ready to use your sensor. Disconnect the Wemos from the computer and reconnect it with the sensor. When you power it up, it will create a temporary Wi-Fi network. With your laptop, connect to ESP Wemos. Go to 192.168.4.1 and configure the Wi-Fi by entering your network details. Once this is set up properly, the temporary network will disappear and the sensor starts measuring. When you now go to your profile and look at your sensor, you will see measurements from your sensor come in. And that's basically it. Build a nice case and hang it outside. We are using an ordinary electrical box here. The electronics go inside. The sensor itself stays outside. Just make sure it's protected from the rain. Over time, you will see how air quality varies with the weather, with traffic and other conditions. And once there are enough sensors in your neighborhood, you can easily pinpoint hotspots and work with others to reduce air pollution. 
You can find the full, full list of sensors on our website, hackair.eu, and you'll also find lots of other information to improve air quality.